the Low Attempts Processing Programme is a carbon pathfinder programme and for us carbon reduction is really a massive piece of part of what we do and how we build and how we deliver things. This work with zero emissions is probably one of our biggest challenges. So today we've got Design and Energy Sprint, a critical part of our planning to deliver our zero emissions ambitions. We, we need to make sure that we can get energy to the electric vehicles, the electric plant that we've got across the site. So today we've got the OMEs, we've got power supply people, we've got people who've done it in Europe, we've also got experts from Catapult um, and other industry experts uh, alongside our tier twos, alongside our construction planning teams to, to work out solutions and share knowledge. So delivering a zero emission site has not really been done at this scale before. And actually it's somewhere and, and something that where we need to harness the, the really best of the wider supply chain, both from within the UK, but also from abroad. Um, today really is a fantastic opportunity to do that. And one of the reasons we're bringing everyone together is really to try and find out how we can do this in a way um, that brings the best of that industry expertise together. So the, the design sprint for today that was centering around the infrastructure for energy, uh, charging especially of heavy duty equipment. Those are massive amounts of energy you have to bring into the fields. Uh, we are working in the green field, so it's uh, quite a challenge to bring energy to a machine that is not able to get out of the fields every day. Some parts of the project have very little uh, electrical supply, some have surpluses, and we need to try and develop some solutions along with the small to medium enterprises on how to get this surplus power to places where it's needed and how to provide power to places where it's in deficit. As a civil engineering contractor, likewise the other delivery partners, we deliver major infrastructure projects, but what we're doing with zero emissions is on another level. We've never done that before. None of the three delivery partners have done it to the scale as what's expected at LTC. No one was ever expecting or thinking about you know, trying to do this challenge that we've got on our hands. So I think actually it's great that not one organisation can do this. So we've got to have all of these smaller niche type organisations, these startups in some respects, have to be on board and support us. And um, actually the, the, the enthusiasm from all of these people to actually come in and want to do that and support us is, uh, is fantastic. Um, as a, a company, we're looking to expand internationally. Uh, we know that the Dutch market is quite ahead in terms of uh, trial and error in the zero emission construction uh, area. This project came along and I thought, okay, this is a nice opportunity for us to share all the know-how that we already have uh, and bring it into, uh, into the project. Working in a startup, innovation is kind of key to what we do. We're changing the status quo and I guess that's really what innovation is all about. No one's been really doing this before anywhere. This is an ambitious project. There's some big challenges ahead. And I think the people in the room today coming together to solve those, like collaborative approach. And I think again, building on work we've already been doing, scaling it up, looking at this in new ways and trying to address the problem uh, with innovation uh, is really exciting. To you know, bounce ideas and solutionize with these uh, representatives is, is just a great opportunity for us to, to be in a room with all of this uh, to help us aim to get to a, a solution that we could scale later on. If we do this, we could change the industry. We can show that infrastructure can be built in the UK for, for zero or low carbon, alongside meeting the net zero ambitions uh, that we have as a country. And from our point of view, it's absolutely the right thing to do. It's something that we need to do for both ourselves and, and the country and for future generations.